Do you hear that? I tell you, that sound's been driving me batty. Hey folks, so welcome back. And uh, here's our silver mine in all of its glory. <clears throat> that sound I was listening to above is bats. I could hear them even from the, I was up on the surface just above the mine here. And I can sometimes hear them when I'm down here too. So clearly there is somewhere around here a, uh, there's a cavern somewhere nearby that some bats have spawned in. But anyway, so this is what the silver mine looks like. I mean, it looks the same you know, as all my other mines, the way I do them. But uh, the silver uh, came in pretty densely here. And uh, I haven't mined any of this simply because I'm full up. I've got it in my vessel, filled, filling my vessels. And I've got here probably more than I will ever need. So, um, so the next thing I'm going to do is... While I was wandering around out here, uh, looking for this, I also came across a gold deposit. So I figure I'll go there to start the gold mine. Let's just bring up the ore map here. Yeah, so this is where I am here with the silver mine, and there uh, was a gold deposit over here. So I figure I'd go over there to get the gold. Um, but before I do that... If we look at the date here. Oh, we're already into the start of summer. I hope I'm not too late. Anyway, I want to go back home and uh, harvest. Uh, I managed to get one harvest off the cherry trees. And so hopefully there's still some cherries on them, but uh, we'll see. So let's pop back over there first. I'll meet you back there. Well, there's our haul in terms of silver. I'll uh, put a label on the chest some other time. Uh, as I had feared, though, the cherry cherry season is over. I probably just missed it because it's just the day after, right? Uh, where are we here? Date. Yeah, July 1st. So we probably just missed it. So I did get some cherries. I have them. Yeah, was it there? Yeah, you can see I've got five cherries there, and I think I put some away in the, put some away in it in one of the chests in the food chest. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna head back over to that uh, to that gold gold area, and what I'm gonna do a little bit differently this time is just just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try doing the mine the normal way. So I'm going to, you can see all my crops are coming in here too. Uh, apparently I'll do it the normal way tomorrow since it's starting to get dark. Um, so I will build, uh, use beams to support the rock. I'm going to need more wood than that. Yeah, that'll do me. For a start at least. I'll uh, use beams to support the rock and see what that's like. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm, kind of, you know, selling, selling the meth method short, but anyway, we'll try it out and see what it's like and see whether I'm just, see just how justified I am and my much more expensive way of mining where I'm just throwing woods of block up into the roof all the time, in the roof of the mine all the time. Anyway, let's grab some quick sleep here. And I guess I should water myself as well. So anything else I should get rid of while I'm here? Ooh, I'm getting kind of low on the axe here. But I'll, uh, I'll work that out. Anyway, so I will see you over at the gold site. Okay, so I've done my usual thing where I use thatch blocks to mark wherever I found nuggets sitting on the ground. And there weren't many. I found these two here and then one way over there. That's actually the one I first encountered when I was wandering around. Um, so since, so I'll probably dig somewhere around here, and since I'm so close to the water here, I actually want to go out and, uh, just quickly hit with the prospector's pick out here on the off chance that it's close enough to the surface to actually find something. And let's do a deep dive. Hope I don't dr drown.
Okay. Didn't see anything here. Let's get back up. Three bubbles left. Two bubbles left. One bubble left. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, hey. Okay. Oh, well, this is a nice resource. This is Pete. Hey, Pete. Say hi to Pete. Yeah, Pete Moss. The, uh, if you're starting out at the very beginning, like most blocks have obey gravity and so you can't really build them. And at the very beginning, you don't have a saw, so you can't make logs or sorry. <laughs> and so you can't make like wooden blocks out of logs or anything like that. But Pete, you see, obeys, doesn't obey gravity. So if you can find, if you happen to run into a peat deposit like this, that is a quick and easy way, a really nice way to get started where you can very quickly make yourself a nice little shelter. Uh, the stuff can also burn, and I think it has some other uses that escape me at the moment. But So it's kind of nice to know, know that's there, so I'll mark that resource. Okay, now back to our little uh, our gold mine here, our gold mine to be... Um, so given I'm this close, I think I'll take advantage of where I am and uh, just dig down from here so that I spare myself a little bit of digging. So I'll start off doing the usual thing. Um, I'll dig a too wide hole until I get down far enough. Far enough to where I can... Uh, far enough to where the pro pick will detect the stuff. And I will bring you back in at that point. Well, I, uh, I found the gold. If we just creep over here, you can see it's right there. Right there. In that cavern. And as the sounds betray, I've got company down there. Hmm. Some spiders. So I'm not really sure how to go about this because I'm also hanging up in the middle of the ceiling. Now it does look like there's a wall not too far over there. Um, hmm. Don't have enough dirt and sand and stuff to, to build up. I need something to block the hole with. I guess what I can do... I have wood on me. Okay, yeah. So I can make a wooden block. That's what I can do. Alright. Actually, I guess I can just use a log. Okay, that's even easier. So we'll start with that. Okay. Alright, that now gives me my... Whoops. want my dying axe back. So, it should be safe to stand on the wooden block, and then I can start digging this way. My, my concern is that with that cavern below me, when, if I start digging sideways, I am almost certain to set off a, uh, a collapse. And I don't really have enough room here to put up any beams yet. So let's uh, let's uh, just be careful here. Maybe get a few solid blocks going. All right, let's get another one here. kind of what I was concerned about. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Uh, some wooden blocks to rescue, maybe. 
So I'm going to need the wood. Well, I can always go up and get more wood. So let's just start with... Uh, just creeping over here. And that will have destroyed, of course, some of the gold deposit beneath me. Which is unfortunate. Um... Okay, so let's try... Uh, it's getting complicated. Let's make a few beams. Oh yeah, what, what do we have to do here like this? Okay. And the torch can probably go here. And throw one beam there. Uh, it wants to be one higher than what I... Uh, well, let's try this. And there. Okay. So now, if I understand these beams correctly, I should be able to safely mine out this stuff around me. So let's give that a shot. Uh, actually, let's try uh, doing it with the chisel, so I have some solid blocks to work with, except that one that decided to go away on me. Oh, that spider wants me. The bat just wants to come play the spider. Well, I guess in his own way, the spider wants to play too. Okay. Let's uh, fill in some of these holes. Oh yeah, I can see the spider down there. Well, let's uh, remove the temptation for the spider. Okay. So let's grab a few more blocks out of here. Okay. So the beam didn't do squat there. It did not stop that fall in from happening, even though I'm below the level. So I don't know, maybe, maybe cave-ins caused by chisels aren't affected by the beams. Okay. All right, good to know. So I can't be using the chisel if I'm going to use beams for <clears throat> cave-in protection. Okay, I'm standing on a... Um, on a chiseled stone block, but I, I believe I remember seeing something about in the notes that there's a difference between the ones you've chiseled in place and the ones you've placed, i.e. the ones that are chiseled in place can still fall. But anyway, let's, so let's just try breaking away. No, it's still... So yeah, so uh, this is what I get back to all the time is, I guess I'm just using it wrong, but I don't know how you're supposed to use these things such that it doesn't all cave in on you. I'm, I'm still getting tons of cave-ins. Now, it may be because there's this open cave underneath me. Um, I don't know, maybe that's the problem, but that's the problem I got to deal with here. That's the situation I'm facing, so I hope the hell this doesn't fall on me. I could be in for a really bad time. So I'm going to buy myself a little bit of safety here. Oh, actually, I can do it with the block. And just put this block above me so I don't get crushed just in case there is a cave in. Okay. And I'm almost... Okay, and that gets me to that wall, which is where I wanted to be. Let's throw some light down there. Well, the cave-in might have killed the spider, eh? 
I guess because <laughs> I don't hear the spider anymore. Um, so yeah, that could have worked in my favor. All right, so I'll try cutting these out. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to build myself a wall or something to protect me from the uh, from the mobs. Yeah, I know there's you don't need to make the cave sound Minecraft. I know there's a cave down there. Okay, so if I put another post here, there's no way to connect it to that one that's on a different level. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put my uh, protective block back above me. Well, at least at this point, I can probably just build up with gravel and stuff. So let's uh, make ourselves some cobble. There we go. Get the sword in hand and see what our situation here is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to have to go get more torches, I think. To be able to light this place up enough to safely mine it. Um, all right, so let's see what we can do at least with the, yeah, so we know from the test before that if any of these rocks begin to fall, the beams aren't going to stop them. So the only way we can prevent this stuff from falling on us using the beams is if the beams are up at their level. And it's all so jagged that that's just not possible, right? It's... I don't know. You know like, like, tell me in the comments, how do you guys use these beams to mine? Like, to safely mine? It's like, it, they don't they don't stop stuff from falling down. I'm really at a loss here what to do. Okay, um, I'm going to have to switch by, well, I was going to say I'm going to have to switch back to my regular mining method, but even my method right now at this point, I'm going to need a ton of wood or wood or like carved stone blocks or something like that just to build a big, a big roof above my head so I don't get crushed. Mind you, that's, I'm sort of going to need a lot of that anyway, just to build a wall to keep the, uh, keep the cobbly wobblies out. So I think that's where I'm at, is I'm going to have to, uh, harvest a lot of stone. All right. Yeah. You don't need to watch me do all this. So I'll bring it back in when I've got myself sorted out a bit better. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done here. So there, here's the hole where I originally came down. Um, I've replaced the blocks that, well, some of them I dug out and some of them collapsed out. Placed them with wood. Uh, I went and dug up all of that peat up there and immediately put it to use as a construction material. So using a combination of peat and wood blocks and these are smooth stone here, I secured the area immediately around my hole here because what happened with... Uh, with some of the cave-ins is water 
is there's actually somewhere around here i don't remember where uh water started rushing in because you know there's the ocean just up there and so we'd cut into so apparently one of the cave-ins allowed water to come in and it knocked out my ladders and some of my ladders and some of my torches and that so as much as possible i've got the all of the open rock capped off up here immediately around my uh, escape route okay and so then we come down here whoops you see the this is going to be a problem too is the torches are starting to go out and same thing here is this is my route down into the uh into the cavern and then what i've done is i put up one wall of peat here um to keep the monsters at bay there were skeletons out there there was an enderman popping around here for a while too that was pretty frightening um and i don't ha didn't have enough peat to completely uh, put up a ceiling so you can see again what i have is i have sort of a safe corridor down here where i'm covered and then i have a full ceiling over here where there's some ex exposed basalt and still some exposed gold that didn't get knocked out by the uh, falling rocks uh, and the gold is in the basalt it's not in this um nice here so it's, it's really the basalt i want to get down to and then uh, more protection against mobs i've i've put up another wall there although spiders presumably could crawl in up there but i don't think they will and another wall off here so i've walled off <laughs> the monsters the uh the peat makes it pretty dark especially with the basalt as well so it's a pretty dark living area and i do have to run around every couple of days and uh reset the torches and that's going to be a problem if i ever decide to come back in here later right is that so much time will have passed the torches will have gone out and then mobs can spawn so a couple of things i can do about that one is as soon as they get here rush down here as quickly as possible because they won't spawn while the chunks unloaded and actually the torches won't even go out while the chunks unloaded so just have to make sure that when i'm done here i leave as quickly as possible and when i get here i get down here as quickly as possible to relight everything <clears throat> and there is spawn protection while you're in an area like it it increases over time so the longer you're in an area the less likely mobs are to spawn within a certain radius of you so you know while i've been working down here it's gotten a bit safer from mobs at least uh, the other thing i did was i cleaned up a lot of the uh, cobble that fell i just left myself this kind of staircase effect here and uh yeah, even in the areas where i probably won't be digging like here because it's nice still and i want to uh, i don't need to dig in the i probably won't need to dig in the nice just in the uh, basalt and uh the reason i but the reason i cleared all that away is so there are going to be rock falls because like i said i couldn't completely cover everything here with the roof <clears throat> and so when they do fall they won't cast they won't have as much opportunity to cascade all the way over into the area where i'm working so that just gives them some area to fall and if you know after each fall i can go and clean up again so anyway so now i finally get to my, actually mine my first bit of gold ta-da oh i get a gold rush they put it they added a lot of new achievements in tng that's great i like that so there we go i have my first couple of pieces of gold now at least <laughs> at least the one thing i get over here is we take if i take the pro pick here oh and it's rich oh okay well okay so there's an extra bonus too is is for all this effort i'm at least getting a, it's at least a rich vein and it's also you can see here well that's hematite uh there we go it's a very large sample of basalt gold so at least there's a lot of it here i just have to find it and put up with the collapses the inevitable collapses so uh so i'm just going to dig away here until we get a collapse just so you can kind of see what's going to happen how it's going to work ha i have another one ready although it may well it may be that all the all that that i'm down far enough now that all that rock above is out of the range of collapse that would be great if that's the case so let's just do a few here Ooh, more gold uh, another thing i can do to kind of help myself out is as soon as i expose some gold dig it up and that way i won't have the problem of 
if a collapse happens, it'll like if a collapsing rock falls on ore, it destroys the ore, right? So, so as soon as I see some ore, try to dig it up. Ooh, lots of ore. So just a few things to you know try and keep the uh, keep the collapses as much at bay as they as I can. I'm kind of wincing as I do these because that all this exposed rock right here is closer than I would like. So it's still a good chance that I'm within range here to start a collapse, but but I should be fairly safe here to collect some gold. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not getting any collapses, so I must be far enough down as long as I stay away from this area here. So I'll collect my gold and then bring it back. Because the other thing we still need to do, even after we've got the gold, is uh, the Garnierite, the nickel. Yeah, so in terms of trying to use the... Yeah, yeah, that must mean there's even more openings underneath me or something. Is that a new underground sound? Or is that some weird mob? There's a chicken down here as well. Or at least I thought it was chicken. It was sitting here going, bark, 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 bark. I don't know how it would have gotten down here. But then it made the most horrendous sound. So I'm wondering if that's a, a mob I haven't run into before. Maybe they've created a cockatrice or something like that. So. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the Garnierite. Um, so in terms of trying to use the... Um, use the beams, beams and posts for mining. I'll try that again next time I have something that's more more open because this wasn't a fair test, right? Because even my way of mining is, is difficult down here. I mean, because you have just so much exposed rock hanging above you and at different levels. So that wasn't really a fair test of it. So the next time I have a, a mine that I'm, that isn't a just doesn't open up into a big cavern then uh, we'll try it again and uh, and maybe it'll, it'll make more sense to me then okay see you bet see you later well there's our gold harvest there's still plenty back there um, I just stopped because I want to get on with other things and speaking of harvests oh good lord look what we've got here I mean it's uh, late summer yeah, we've just gotten into late summer and I don't think this is tall enough yet. It's supposed to be, no, it's not tall enough yet. Um, but our garlics, onions, our onions are now in, carrots not quite done. Uh, on berries, we've got blueberries here to be harvested. Uh, we've got elderberry, lemon tree is in. And then over here, all of our grains have come in. So there's the rice. Uh, looks like some of this squash might be ready. Uh, I've already harvested the maize once. So this is the second growth already. The maize came in really fast. So I, I'll have to keep that in mind that, uh, that that's an early crop. I can probably get two, two harvests of. I think I've already done that actually in previous, in previous season as I got two harvests of it. I just kind of didn't notice it. Uh, the wheat is... I don't think the wheat is ready yet. I don't think that's quite ready. But the barley is ready. Yeah, the barley is ready. Uh, the oats... Can't tell. I, I think the oats go lighter than that when they're ready. I'll have to double check. But anyway, so the oats and the rye I'm not sure of, but the barley is definitely ready. Here we'll... Yep, definitely ready. So all kinds of things I got to harvest. So in the tomatoes and these fine guys here are potatoes to bring in. Um, I haven't, oh, some of the sheep have grown up. The, some of the babies that escaped have grown up. I don't know if any more uh, young have been born. I think those are the young we had already and the cows haven't had their second calf yet. 
So we're still doing fine there. Uh, what else? Let's go run quickly over here. And all the peppers are ready to come in. Uh, the beans are... I think the beans have got another stage to go yet. And uh, the jute's been ready for a while. I just haven't wanted to harvest it harvest it yet. And this, uh, the beets are ready. And the, uh, the garlic I already harvested once. So this is, this is also a second harvest here that isn't quite ready yet. Anyway, so I got lots to do there. I don't know if I'll montage it for you or just skip over it to the, until we get to the next other thing. But that next other thing is going to be uh, going and stirring up the garnier, right, mine. So if I if you don't see a montage of me harvesting, then uh, then I'll see you at the garnier, right, mine. I've harvested so much food that I've run out of empty vessels to put it all in, so I'm going to have to make some more. So while I'm doing that, I'll bid adieu for this episode. Next episode, we'll tackle the Garnierite mine and see if I can finally get it through my thick skull how to go about using these beams. I hope to see you back for that. Bye now.